Um, you still with me? Shit. <laughs> oh, <versus>. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get, Let me get Romans 9 and 20. Let me get Romans 9 and 20. Let me get Romans. Woo! Hey, you know what I'm saying? Brother V. Brother V. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I was in football one time, right? You know what I'm saying? Romans. Romans. Uh, uh. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 20. Bring it up. Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou? that repliest against God. Shall the thing form say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay? That was a powerful scripture, bro. Powerful reading, you spit all over this mic. All praises, brother. That was a powerful, that was a, that's a powerful scripture, man. Hey, it said that how can a, how can a potter, how, read it again, I'm butchering it. Slug, y'all. It say, come in away. It says, nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing form say to him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? Hey, we got videos of uh, why am I a uh, Edomite? You know what I'm saying? You can't get mad at that, bro. The most like God made you. He made you to be wicked, bro. He made the white man to be wicked. That's what the Bible say. Right? That's what you was created for. You're doing your job. You bring in death, you bring in deception, you bring in lies, right? You bring in division. You are the devil the Bible speaks of, bro. Right? That thing make my teeth white. Right? Ain't that what they say? <laughs> God, come on. It say, have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? So he made one vessel unto honor and another vessel unto dishonor, right? So we got to operate within our roles. We got to operate within our system. More importantly, we got to know who our enemies are. We got to know who our family is. And a lot of times, like I said earlier, our family don't always look like each other. We don't always look the same. You know what I'm saying? So we got we to gotta operate according to the, the knowledge and wisdom of the Bible. We're supposed to judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Right, we gotta, we gotta. That's how we're gonna discern who's uh, 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 coming into the marriage or not. So it's not about a black and white issue. It's a nation thing. It's a bloodline that's thing, right. right? It's about bloodline, man. Right. So we gotta try the spirit by the spirit, and the spirit is the keeping the commandments of the Most High. Right. We gotta make sure that this brother is 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 actually Israel, or the sisters actually Israel. Right. According to the Book of Numbers. Right. Did you have something else? All right, Kyle, you got that. This is Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Yeah. And be not conformed to this, this world, world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. To the renewing of the mind. Earlier I said, sometimes, oh wait, that, that, hey, he trying to get close. Oh, hey, that's right. Hey, hey, Brother on top of it, bro. Right. right. Hey. That thing trying to get up in here, bro. He's trying to get on the line, bro. That thing trying to get on the line, man. Right. He's trying to hurry. You got the money. Let me get this. You know what I'm saying? It's trying to get in here, bro. It's trying to get in on it. It said that um read that for me one more time. Romans 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So this is how we know what is good and acceptable. What I was saying was sometimes we, we got to change. Like, even though we don't understand, we don't understand the fringes. We may not understand it, but we change just because we love God. Right. Right? We, we don't want to, we don't want to buck up against it because we don't understand it. Eventually we start to understand it. Right? You got to learn you gotta, you gotta follow God. This is why that scripture and uh, Peter say that let, let God be true and every man a liar. So you gotta always let God be true and follow Him, even though you don't understand. When you don't understand, follow Him, and then you are gonna understand. That's just like a good leader. A good leader knows when to be good, when to become a good, uh, uh, become a follower. A good leader learn knows when to become a follower. Uh. Everybody up here. That brother, that brother, that brother, that brother, that brother, and that brother are all leaders. 
I promise you, they're all leaders, but they know when to follow. They know when to follow, man. And that's how it's supposed to be done, right? A lot of times we come into this truth and this walk, and we think because the world has taught us how to be followers, we gotta outshine everybody. We gotta be number one. You gotta listen to me. That's what they think. You know what I'm saying? That's what they think. And that's not true. Man, this is a this is a team effort, man. You gotta learn how to play as a team. All right? You got to. What you got? Wow. This is Psalms 40 and verse 8. Bring it out. I delight to do thy will. Oh my God. Yeah. Thy law is within my heart. So dealing with that Romans 12, your will is the law of God. We delight to keep the laws. We delight to keep the Sabbath. God, we delight to do that thing, man. That is a delight. Hey, and if it's not your delight, make it your delight. Right? Meditate on that. Because the Bible just say, hey, uh, we delight to do thy law. You got to delight to do that thing, man. And sometimes you got to forcefully do things. Some things you got to be patient with yourself, just like you got to be patient with your spouse. I was telling that, just like we was telling that brother, right? She might not change right away, just like that brother might not change. He said, how many times he hurt us? Two or three times, right? We got to be patient with that brother. It's frustrating. What you say? One or two. It's like I added a little bit more. <laughs> I added one more to it. But you got to be patient with, hey, this is the third time, though. Right. You say it next time we see it. But uh, we got to be patient with that brother, man. He so, asked him the same question. God. 15 times it was still shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, 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 uh, his body had to help him out a lot of times. That's cool too. You know what I'm saying? She's she doing her job. If she's not doing her job, if she knows the answer and she's not helping him, that's a problem. That's not a good body. She got a job. She got work to do. If she know the answer, she's making her head look dumb. She's not making her head shine. You know what I'm saying? That's a problem. But, uh, This is Matthew's 28 and verse 13. Bring it out. And, uh, oh, sticky. It's cold out here. There we go. <laughs> God, here we go. Right here. Somebody, yeah, come back to me. Here we go. This is Matthew 28 and 18. Bring it out. Yahweh shall came and spake unto them, saying, all powers is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to, to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So it's a delight for us to come out and teach the nations to get back in order. Go ahead and get that Romans for me, Robert Sharp. 22. This is the book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 21. Bring it out. Thou, therefore, which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself? And this is what happens a lot. This is what happens a lot, man. Uh, a lot of times when we come out and we teach each other, we teach brothers, we teach others. This happens a lot in lessons, a lot in lessons. We be teaching ourselves, man. I be thinking I got it. I be like, oh, yeah, I got this. Yeah, 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 I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, Zion, I'm ready. Let's do this. Right? And I be like, dang, that's, that hit a little different. Now that I said it out loud, you know what I'm saying? Now I just, man, I kind of cut myself up. I just learned something that I need to be doing. Right? So sometimes when we teach others, we teach ourselves. Also, teaching does cover sins. Teaching does cover sins. Come on. Thou that preachest a man should not steal, dost thou steal? Right. 22. Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery? Brother just had a lesson over that. Adultery, uh, uh, homosexuality, a sodomite, I should say. Right? I don't know which word to use no more because the land where you use it, we can't use the words really in the Bible like you're supposed to, but you know, I'll say Sodom. So, brother had a lesson over that. Beautiful lesson, definitely needed, right? I know we got people asking about that, and uh, the brother answered your call, man. He answered your call, so Lord willing, you actually see that that video the brother just posted. The brother just did, right? Uh, but read that for me one time. Thou that sayest the man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery? You're not supposed to go and commit adultery after you teach 
somebody not to commit adultery. Come on. Thou that abhorrest idols, dost thou commit sacrilege? Right. Hey, I remember one time, I think I was, it was right before prayer. We'd be praying, right? It was right before prayer. I was like, bro, I was talking to the bar and I said, I feel sick. I didn't even know what I was being sick from because I just ate cheese dip. Come to find out that cheese dip had bacon in it. Bro, I felt sick. I felt, I was feverish. I was shaking. This brother had to pray for me. This brother had to pray. I was like, brother, hey, can you can you pray? The other night, can you, can you pray? Brother had to step up and pray. Bro, I, was, I wasn't feeling good. That was horrible. But you're not going to go and teach somebody not to eat pork and then go willingly eat pork. Right? You're not going to do that. I, I knew a brother that was in the camp. I'm not going to say his name. John. But he was literally, he was in the camp. He was teaching not to commit adultery, but that dude was definitely committing adultery. He was telling another woman, tell another man to leave his woman, leave a woman alone. She don't want you. Like, nigga, that's adultery, bro. You can't deal with it. Bro, you're talking to her man. What are you yeah, we got to learn how to weed out them brothers, man. Sometimes, sometimes uh, walking as an example isn't enough. Sometimes just walking and being an example isn't enough. You actually got to tell them what is expected of them. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to actually teach and tell them. Sometimes that ain't even enough. Sometimes you got to gradually, hey, we're going to do this together. You, <laughs> this brother know how. He definitely, hey. Like I said, we got leaders up here, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta take a brother by the hand and do it for him, or do it with him. Hey, I'm gonna bear your burden, brother, and we're gonna come and do this together, right? That's how I be sometimes. You got more for me? Thou that makest thy boast of the law, through through breaking the law dishonorest thou God. For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. Damn. That's what it's heavy, bro. That's what it's heavy. Man. It, that is hard. So what you do, it ain't just all. It ain't just all of what you say, but it's what you do is important. What you do is important. That's why that sister that was that was driving away, she said, she was like, uh, she said, you gotta, uh, what she say? You, right. gotta, you gotta be living it. That's what she said. That's why I was like, I was giving her a thumbs up because she right. You gotta be living it. You gotta do it. You gotta walk it, right? You have to. This is, hey, if you don't, you can make the word of God blaspheme among the people that aren't, among the Israelites that are not Israel, amongst the Gentiles, the Bible says, right? But we know what that means, right? You can make the word of God blaspheme by your examples, by what you do. I wanna read that again. I wanna read that again, because you can make the word of God blaspheme by what you do. Come on, King. This is the book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 24. Bring it out. For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. God, so like it. Verse 23. Thou that makest thy boast of the law, through breaking the law, dishonorest thou God. We, make the, we boast the law, but dishonor the law by breaking it. Come on. For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you. The word of God is made blasphemed among the Gentiles through us. Right? If we are teachers of men, fishers of men, we got to actually walk it. We got to be an example. We got to be that living example. Right? We got to go out here and make our bodies a living sacrifice. Brother drove a whole almost two hours. Right? Beautiful. That was a beautiful work, man. That's beautiful, man. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, man. What'd you say? I show his faith, man. That's very true. That's a beautiful work, man. That's a beautiful example. Brother, you drove almost two hours, and I live in the city. You know what I'm saying? I should be here, bro. That's beautiful, man. So we gotta we gotta be that example. We gotta we gotta live and walk that walk and talk that talk. We gotta actually do it, right? We can't be hypocrites. Right, what did I have? Did I have something else on James 2, I'm starting at verse 7. Uh, this is James chapter 2 and verse 4. Bring it out. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him? 
for ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you? And, hey, hey, brother. I had to pull it back from him, bro. He was going in, bro. I had to pull it back. I said, hey, wasn't we poor? Hey, the, the, the rich have oppressed us. All right, we can't go and oppress the, the poor of our people. That don't make no sense. Right? We got to be an example. Brother's a beautiful example when it comes to doing for the poor, man. That brother, do he do alms work. That brother do alms work. Right? So we, that's what we all supposed to be doing. Going out and blessing the poor, man. Blessing our people. But we know that the rich oppress us. Why would we oppress the poor? Come on, Kevin. I'm going to start back. James 2 and 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren. Have not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him? It said the rich and poor, poor what does it say? It says, it says, God has chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. The poor of this world, but rich in faith. And this is what we see in, rich in faith, rich in faith, rich in faith, rich in faith. This is what we see in, brothers that are rich in faith, man. They poor, but they rich in faith. Uh, right? Come on. Uh, in heirs of the kingdom, uh, which he had promised to them that love him. Hey, Lord willing, man, that, that does something to your spirit. Do yeah. <laughs> something, Lord willing, that I does something to your spirit. Really cold, no. <laughs> <laughs> it said heirs to the kingdom. Bro, y'all on the right track. Right? Y'all on the right track, bro. Just endure. Just endure. Y'all on the right track, man. Verse 6. But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before judgment seats. Do not they blaspheme me that worthy name by the which you are called. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Ye do well. Yeah, right. I almost dropped it, bro. I almost dropped it, but I got to keep teaching. I almost dropped it. I almost dropped the mic, but I had to. Nah, I got to keep teaching, bro. So we 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 have to do the royal law, man. And, and that's that's definitely loving our neighbor as ourself, right. right? Showing brotherly love. Showing what uh, true knowledge of self is. You got something? Y'all just want to say like, hey, what's up with the king? The way you show your, your brother love is. Hey, come and check us out. Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in the Bible? Come and check out the Bible, bro. It was five minutes. Hey, Christ wouldn't, hey, God wouldn't turn his back on y'all, man. God wouldn't turn his back on y'all. Dealing with the law, if you really love your brother, because, you know, they're always oh, coming out the law. You're just supposed to love your brother. So, okay, if you, if you really love your brother, you're not going to steal from him. You know, you're not going to murder him. You're not going to mess with his wife. Like, that's going into the law. That's how you love your brother. And, 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 to, and he said, those two... We hang up on everything, right? So if I'm loving the most high, he's going to show me how to love the, my brother. Come on. Uh, this is James 5, verse 4. Here we go. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields which is of you kept back by fraud. Quiet in the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the air, Salakia, are entered into the ears of the Lord Sabbath. Uh, was that four? Okay, God, so it's just saying how the crops, now they're gonna reach into our crops, the rich is gonna reach into us. And they do that all the time through taxes. They taxes on taxes on taxes. Right, we get triple, triple, double, Tax. We get all kinds of tax, right? They, they just, there's no, they oppress us so much, man. We can never get out of it. We can never escape. We gotta go and do all kinds of tricks and maneuvers to try to learn ways to not to be in poverty, to actually so, uh, provide for our family, man. Right? That's what makes a man want to go and do something that they shouldn't be doing, right? Pulling licks and all kinds of flips and you know, they gotta do all kinds of different maneuvers just to feed their family but the poor is causing us to uh, a, a lot of our people to do that but if we stay on track man if we just endure we'll be all right it's at the kingdom of heaven we are the inher uh the inheritance of the kingdom right what you got 
I was gonna say we seen that a lot when when they went and got us and brought us over here. They went and stick their hand in the pot and brought us over here. Why? Cause they, what did we do for this? We built this whole nation. We so we we brought them riches. We are a uh, uh, basically you're right. We are spoiled. We cattle. We are they service. That means like enterprise, right? We are they. We are they products, man. You know, not saying we come from them, but they literally look at us as goods, as merchants, right? Because no matter what, whether it's entertainment, whether it's any field you find us in, we bring prosperity to it. Right. We bring prosperity to it, and they know that. That's that. That's why they put. That's why they come to us for everything. Yeah. Hey, uh, let me get Second Timothy chapter three and verse one. Second Timothy three and one, and we're gonna get one and seven. One and seven. Con. Let me get. Uh, let me get First Maccabees chapter eleven and twenty one. First Maccabees eleven and twenty one. Come on. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 2. Bring it out. I have loved you, saith the Lord. What do you say? I, I have loved, loved you, saith the, the Lord. Lord. What's going on, old school? Oh, we talked to you before, didn't we? All praises. I just come to see God bless you. All praises. God bless you too, bro. And, and, and be good with everything you do, man. All praises. We appreciate that. All praises. Hey, and likewise to you, man. We, we, we bid that back to you, man. That's we appreciate crazy, you. My Thank you. Y'all keep doing your thing. I appreciate you. What's going on, King? Are you believing the Bible? You look like you on a mission. There's no stopping you, bro. He hollering and moving. He moving and hollering. Hey. Hey, we're here to tell you, man, you're an Israelite according to the Bible, man. That's right. Do your research. Check us out. Such a Jacob Tussle. <laughs> Put that plug. Come on. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Fine. So this is again, which is echoed in the New Testament. The Most High God loved Jacob, but he hated Esau. Right? There was a video that I wanted to post too. I want. I think I wanted to do a lesson on, but it talked about how we see. How, because when I came into the truth, I want to say this before I say that. When I came into the truth, I was like, man, karma is not real. Right? All these rich uh, white folks, they don't get no karma coming to them, right? There's no karma. It's like, man, hey, every time I do something wrong, I get punished. I get beat down. Right? I get oppressed. For no, for what? Like, what? I mean, you know what I'm saying? For, for little things. I'm like, man, I'm getting beat down, man. But I'm like, karma is not real, but... The most high is, is what we fail to see is the love of God because we fail to realize that rebuke is love. The most high God chastens who he loves. That's right. Let me give that Romans, uh, Revelations 3 and 19. You got a precept too? All right, let me get this. Right home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, this is Revelation 3, verse 19. Bring it out. As many as I love, I, I rebuke and chasten. And Be zealous, therefore and repent. The Most High God, Christ, is telling his people, to this red letter, to repent. He said, as many as I love, I rebuke, I correct, I chasten, right? I repent, right? Hey, we appreciate you, bro. Keep doing I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. I'm right now, I feel so I you. I appreciate that too. That's showing. That's showing eldership, man. That's showing leadership. That's showing responsibility. We thank you for that, man. We do. That even though he knows he's inebriated, he ain't going to come and cause confusion. That's right. We appreciate. It. A lot of elders won't do that. That's a lot right. of elders will, will try to cause confusion and make it seem like they know more than us because they elder, but they inebriated. They can't even think right. So that's. Right, and they stay that way. So we appreciate that, man. I, I think that's literally the first time I've seen that. Yeah. I think that's literally the first time I've seen that. He so said, I appreciate that. Yeah. He said, I'm not going to talk because I've been drinking. <laughs> right, he ain't going to talk because he's drinking. Right, because he's drunk. But he said, as many as I love, I rebuke and I chasten. So be therefore zealous and repent. So he rebukes those whom he loved. That's why I didn't see, I couldn't see his love because I was being rebuked. I didn't know rebuke was love. I did not know rebuke was love before I came into the truth. 
I was like, dang, man, this ain't, I, I ain't getting lit up, man. What's on me? You know what I'm saying? What is this? But it's love. That's That was love that was on me. You know what I'm saying? What you got? I got uh, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it out. Be not deceived. God, God is, is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sow it, that shall he also reap. So that's going into karma, man. You, you, you know, like you say, man, we ain't we, we ain't really seen it just yet, but we know the Most High, His word does not go come back void. Esau got to go through what he put us through, so he will. That karma will come back on him. It's definitely coming back on him, man. And they're gonna know too. They're gonna know that it's, it's from what happened. They already know. They're already afraid. They expecting that uh, we don't want the black man to do to the, to us what we did to them. They know it's coming, man. But the Bible states that karma's real, man. Even though you physically didn't go out and put people into slavery, but guess what? Yo, you got to go through it. You're going to have to be put. Justice will be served, right? It's going to be served, and you are benefiting from it. Thus said the Bible. The blacks, the Spanish, and Native Indians are Israelites. That's right. Right? You know, you know it's, it, it's sad, but it is not sad. It's, the whites here, the heathen here, we're not going to be able to put them in slavery. We're not going to be able to enjoy putting them in slavery here. Because, you know, they all going to die from that thermonuclear destruction. They ain't getting saved. So we got to deal with them through the regeneration. But that, that spirit going to be on us to know. That spirit going to be on us to know who's who, right? I'm like, oh, you was my own. Right. You might not remember. Right. He seemed like he know me, man. Why are you doing me like that, bro? I got beat by the police. I'm talking about me. I could not wait until that time of day. Why? Why? Really? That's never explained to him. Right. Right. What I have? What I have? Do I have you on something? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8 and verse 5. Bring it out. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. So it's just like Yahweh said, Be as many as he love, he rebuke and chasten. Be therefore zealous and repent. And I feel like it's in, it's in the same spirit. You feel what I'm saying? You got to take the rebuke and you be zealous and repent and keep his commandments and fear him. God. So again, that that uh, rebuke, that punishment that you're going through, that's love. So right now, uh, a, a lot of Edomites, a lot of white folks ain't feeling that love, man. They're not feeling that. They're going through and they, they comfortably, they comfortably going through it. They're going and do a charge, the same charge a black man would do, but get a slap on the wrist, a slap on the hand, but the black man going to spend seven years in it. I know you got something on that. Uh, okay, so I had, I was, uh, I had got caught with a gun when I was younger. I was like 20. And uh, they gave me four years for it. But when I was at court, it was only me and a in the Edomite, right? He was a younger Edomite. He was like 19. I was 20, right? Again, the gun that I got caught with was a legal gun. It was it was my baby mother's gun. It was in my car. But anyway, I wasn't I wasn't supposed to be around it. But this man sodomized a baby. I got four years in prison. He got four years probation. That, that is crazy. That's a testimony right there. That's crazy. The baby. That goes perfect with the lesson. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's crazy, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> that out <laughs> Man. Yeah. 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 Castrated is a good one. I heard that uh, when they go into prison like that, that a lot of people go in and uh, beat them up or something. Like that. Well, no, nah, they got it now. They got it now where like they got penitentiary strictly for people like that. Yeah. That they committed sex crimes. So they're safe. So they say if you won't even be around them. And if you say if you accidentally get sent to their yard and you touch them, oh, it's a federal. It's you a might get crime. a life sentence for that. It's a hate crime. It's a hate crime. That's yeah. crazy. Bro. Yeah, it's, it's, they it's, protect, bro. They protect, they protect, they protect bro. Hey, you know, believe it or not, bro, uh, uh, the pedophiles like I googled it before. Me and Hezekiah a long time ago we googled it, and they all around this month. But guess where they mostly at? On the west side of Tulsa. So they got a whole community where they put them in. Yep. Right. On the other side of the bridge, on the west side. That is crazy. What you buying that ass, dude? All right. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs>
That's yeah. crazy. Hey, the house is cheap on one of us. <laughs> Bro, it really is. It's cool. Bro. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Hey, cool. Hey, I'm right. Right. Yeah. Damn. That'd be That's where they want to go. That's what's up. That'd be what, what'd you say? Oh, okay. Okay, come on. Uh, what did I have on? I had something on? I might be First Maccabees 11 and 20. Come on. This is First Maccabees chapter 11 and verse 21. Here we go. Then certain ungodly persons who hated their own people. That did what? Who hated, hated their, their own people. people. Now we started this off. We started this whole lesson off with uh, uh, knowledge of self. All right? What knowledge of self is. So these men didn't have full knowledge of self, man. If you hate your own people, you have no knowledge of self. You have no self-love. You do not love yourself. We are going to expect the worst from you, right? That's just how it is. If you don't have knowledge of self, you don't have self-love. If you don't love yourself, we're going to expect no good things coming from you. We're going to expect you. Oh, we expect that brother to do that. Because you don't have. If you don't know how to love yourself, how can you love anybody else? Right. And that's, and that goes into uh, that goes to many lessons because I was actually going to go into the lesson of uh, what men to avoid, right? Showing women what men they have to avoid because if he doesn't love his own people, he's not going to love you. First of all, he's not going to love himself, and he damn sure ain't going to love you. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta. That's something that we gotta deal with and make sure our people know that. Go ahead. What you got? I was gonna say you seen that with um uh Shannon Sharp. He was going against uh Kyrie Irving, right? Uh -huh. But then when you go look at his household, he got a white wife. So it just it speaks volumes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's that's and that's a good point because that's a lot of time a lot of times with our own people that have a problem with are people that we know they know they right, right? Kyrie Irving, some of the things Kanye West do. Sometimes Kanye West do little wonky you know what I'm saying but we see the right thing he's standing up for <laughs> we see that he he can kind of stand up for his people he can do that right but we see that but uh uh it makes sense to why um when you go into a person's background oh we know that's why they do that now we know that's why they behave that way because they don't have true knowledge of self they really don't love their self or their people come on god this is first maccabees chapter 11 and verse 21 hey, bring it out. then certain ungodly persons who hated their own people went unto the king and told him that jonathan besieged the tower god so we say and, and and the people who don't have knowledge of self we can call them ungodly people they are ungodly people somebody who don't love their own people back in the day when we saw a group of men black men we were going, hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, if anything happened, you got my back, I got your back. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? That was understood with just a, a head shake. Yeah. That was understood. But not today, right? You get brothers coming out of the story. See you. <laughs> hey, I, can't, I can't see nothing, but I can't see you. I can see everything else. They blind to everything else. They can't see nothing. They say, what you looking at? Right, they might get that hate, which go back to the curses. Those are ungodly people, man. That's ungodly people. So we got to make sure that we watching out for that. And we also got to make sure that uh, uh, what our women need to look out for, especially our single women. You got that 2 Timothy, did I tell you that? 2 yeah. Timothy 3 and 1 and 7. It's working. It's working. This is, you said 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. So in the last days, perilous times shall come, man. And we're starting to see it. That goes into a lot of different avenues. That goes into famine. Brothers go into that. That goes into all kinds of different types of spirits. All right. All different types of, uh, you got that? Go ahead. Okay, come on. God, the word perilous is full of danger or risk. Ha dangerous, hazardous, risky, unsafe, treacherous, uh, insec insecure, critical, 
in danger, exposed, difficult. And that's that's almost the that's the half the Bible. Is safe. That's half the Bible right there. <laughs> <laughs> that goes into the Safety Act in, in Illinois. Yeah. Act, when does that come out? Is that already out? Already passed. January first. Oh, I know it was January first, right? First. Yeah. Yee. Right. Perilous times. Safety Act. Safety Act is about where they can go and uh, I wish I had the specifics. I got a few of them off the top of my dome. Do you? So in that safety act, it was going to uh, say if somebody come in your house and just squat, the police can't do nothing about it. Uh -huh. Say if somebody kidnap a woman, can't do nothing about it. Or if they do come out and do something about it, they arrest them and they don't have to bond out. They just get, let them go. They get rid of the bonds. <laughs> yeah. no bond let them go. And this ain't even public officials. So if a police, if a public official uh, gets Something happened to them. I don't remember the words they used, yeah. but I know if something happens to them, like some kind of threat or harm comes to him, there's nothing they can do about it. They, there's nothing they can do. So it's, it's the purge. Right. That's what it is. It's this, the it's them like saying the purge the without saying the purge. Yeah, it was like arson, murder, robbery, robbery. kidnapping. Yeah. yeah. First degree robbery, robbery. They're not responding robbery. to that no more. Right. They're not responding to that. Bro, why Chicago? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why places. Chicago are all places? So. And then there's some, I think it's hey, some, some other states. You remember that video I dropped last night? What did he say? That clan member, he said, hell, if it was up to me, I'd be dropping bottles of liquor, okay. bottles of drugs and guns right in the middle of what state did he say? Chicago. Chicago. That's what you know, did. that's what happened before, yeah, right? Right. To, to let us kill ourselves. Like OG said that. He said they dropped the diesel off in their hood. No, no. Well, I heard, I heard that the train had broke down. And so what Pope supposedly broke, broke down, down right? <laughs> and then eventually, the brothers was like, Man, this train been broke down about a month or two. Right. Let's go see what's in there. Right. And it's all them Dracos and AR 16. That's what happened. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. Right. Hey, but but a lot of ungodly people are going to go and take that and do harm to those to our people. They're going to go do harm to their own people because they don't have knowledge of self. They don't have. Uh, self-love they hate themselves and they hate their own people right it was it was a uh, they had to introduce drugs into our community in order for us to start hating ourselves because it wasn't like that it really wasn't like that they had to introduce crack cocaine they had to introduce a lot of uh, uh, marijuana uses which um, makes our men docile it makes our men like lack of warriors the warriorship you know what I'm saying we don't have that warrior mentality though. So we're always, we're always, uh, yeah, yeah, what you got? Can't be a warrior, can't be a high-ass warrior. Can't be no high warrior. Hey, I remember, uh, I remember going, say what? Yeah, yeah, I remember, um, when I was in football, man, this brother, he come up to me, I'm like, bro, you hot? I'm hot. I'm like, man, you not finna do good. Brother went out there, bro, and came right back. He went out there on the field high and came right back on the sidelines. I was like, brother, I can't believe you did that, brother. You know good and well you finna not catch the ball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Man, I can't believe Coach did me like that. Yeah. Talking all slow and thought of This is the book of Cyrac. Chapter 31 and verse 14. Stretch not thine hand whithersoever it looketh, and thrust it not with him into the dish. Judge of thy neighbor by thyself, and be discreet in every point. It said what? And, and be discreet in every point. What does it say before? Judge of thy neighbor by thyself. Judge is thy neighbor by thyself. Come on. And be discreet in every point. Eat as it becometh a man those things which are set before thee and devour not right. lest thou be hated leave off first for manner's sake and be not unsatiable lest thou offend so you can offend on what you do you can offend by what you say you can be offensive by what uh by our actions man you can be offensive by a lot of different things um we're gonna read down to 19 you got 19 leave off are oh, you on this kid yes go ahead Verse 19, a very little is sufficient for a man well nurtured. So you got to learn how to deal sometimes with very little. Sometimes we forced to deal with very little. But we don't know that the day on the earth is going to be like as a pilgrim. We're going to be as pilgrims on earth. So we got to learn how to be, be um, 
what's the word? Uh, uh, temperance. We gotta learn self control. We gotta learn how to deal with little, and not be greedy, right? Be okay with what you got, because we know. Hey, and the scripture tells us that when we, when that day does come, we can't even turn back and go to our house. We can't even turn back and go to what we thought. Hey, man, I forgot my, I don't forgot my dang thing, man. I gotta go back. You ain't supposed to do that. You can't do that. You gotta keep right, going. Five. Right. You do that. Yeah. Trying to go say the right. 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 You gotta learn how to deal with very little, man. This is part verse 30 <laughs> and verse 9. Bring it out. I'm gonna start up though. Verse 7. Two things have I required of thee. Did not meet them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lie. Right. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Least I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or at least I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. So you can take the Lord's name in vain by stealing. You can take the Lord's name in vain by having too much and denying him, right? You can cause his name to be of nothing by our examples and what we do. A, uh, and one of the major points that I wanted to pull out with that Syracuse to be make sure that you aren't being too greedy because America. Hey, did y'all ever see Roots? Who did? Have you ever seen Roots? That's your son, right? I'm just I'm asking. <laughs> have you ever seen Roots? Have you ever seen Roots? Did you? Did I ever? Did you ever see Roots? Uh, part part of it. I know. Is that on me? <laughs> Is that on me? If he didn't see it, that's on me. That's right. <laughs> I'm not right. So, man, uh, Roots, man, they said that uh, Kuta Kita, he went and he was running and he was like looking. He was like, and he was just like puzzled when he saw the white man, right? He went back, huffing and puffing. He couldn't even breathe when he got back. He's, huh, the, the, the dude was upset with him. He was like, what, Kuta, you came back without the rabbit? Because it's manhood. That was manhood training for him. So he was supposed to go and catch a rabbit. And uh, he was like, uh, the white man is here. And they all sat down. He said, uh, you always know when the white man is around because the smoke is too big. The, they have too much for their own need. Like they have too much food for them. It's greedy. They are greedy. It's greed. Why, why do they have billions of dollars? For what? What do you need it for? You're never going to use it. It was, a, it was another, it was a book I seen. It was, they was bringing out the book. I don't know what the book was called, but they said back then you could always, you knew the white man was around because you could smell him. They said you could smell him before you seen him. Oh, I believe that too. Oh. <laughs> I believe that too. Uh, yeah. Hey, but you see that? You see that was more than two with Bill Gates. This man got all this money. But you worried about the Israelites. You worried about still buying everything you want. Come on. You, you got all this money. You still want more and more and more. Yeah, that's the exodus. That's true, because, what's that? Never satisfied. Never satisfied. That's a perfect word. Never said. So, brought that out to be satisfied with what you got. Sometimes it might not seem like enough, but it's exactly enough for you. It's exactly enough for you. So, being here in America, we've been made to be greedy because of the people that we are around. So, we got to make sure that we're not that people. we got to be satisfied. Go ahead. Yeah, and it's, it's evident. If any one of us... Got a million dollars right now, we will see less and less of that brother. Why? Because he gonna be out spending that bread. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's needful. Everything we got right now is needful because we still here. Hey, I gotta go and uh, I got. Hey, bro, I gotta do this, bro. Hey, the camp don't need this. Right. The camp don't. That's why I'm not here, bro. The camp don't need this. Right. <laughs> Trying to make excuses on why not to be there. Go ahead, man. Right. We got a lot to undo. Hey, camera. Hey, it's cold out here. We suffering out here, bro. This is Sirach chapter 10 and verse 9. Bring it out. It says, why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such an one set of his own soul to sell. Because while he liveth, he casteth away his vows. The, the scriptures say there's nothing more worse or more wicked than a covetous man. And that's Esau. They covet everything. The scriptures even say even a man's heritage. They covet you. They covet you. They covet your, your, your name, your language. They covet everything. Are they on the other side of the world taking a Like, that's not yours, man. Right. <laughs> These niggas claim they went to the moon and they right. had a flag on the moon. Right. Well, yeah. the moon. Come on. Right. I just <laughs> Ours is next. 
I seen a dude say he, he sold his soul on the internet. They asked and they like, they're like, how, how you make all that money off the off the internet? He said, I sold my soul to LA. He literally said it out of his own mouth. Wait, so, who said this? Uh, Aiden, Aiden, Aiden Ross. Ross. You seen that? Yeah. Oh wait, that's the love. Streamer. Streamer. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a TikTok and like the top says Aiden Ross sold his soul. Is that the he one? He said it. No. Yeah. Uh, no, he Andrew said it too. Tate, Andrew Tate and his brother asked him. They was like, "How you got all this money, man? You just a YouTuber." He said, "Man, I, I sold my, my soul, soul to LA. LA." He literally said it for a hundred million. Did he say a million or a hundred million? LA, LA the place or a person? Well, you know that's Hollywood. You know. Oh, okay. All of them. You know what I mean? So, hey, again, understand that what you got is sufficient for you. Right. Make sure it's not something that you were, you you learned behavior. It's a learned behavior to be like, man, I can I can go get more. I can go get us more, bro. We already got it. Right when we on the road and we on the run, right? Martial law hit, we made pilgrims on the earth. Don't be greedy. What you got is enough. That's not Israelite custom. What you say, Kenny? That's a good lesson. God, God. That's a good lesson. What's y'all? God. That's why niggas get caught being greedy. That's a good point. That's how that's how people get caught being greedy, man. So don't be that man. Don't be that person, man. Don't be greedy. Hey, you right, too, because you'll see somebody rob the bank the first time they got away. Yeah. But then they keep going. Like, hey, that happened on Saturday. He's like, go, go, go right. get some more money. He's like, fuck that, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me end it off with this scripture. Let me get uh, Exodus. Exodus 2 and 25. Exodus 2 and 25, man. We got to learn our heritage. We got to learn our customs. We gotta learn our culture so we not caught up. That's and we not we not caught out there dead, man. We not out there, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, caught lacking, man. You know what I'm saying? When times when hard when hard times come, because it's getting ready to come up on the earth. It's called Jacob's trouble in the Bible. Right? It's going to happen. And when it happens here, we need to make sure what we are doing. So if you're fortunate enough to make it through martial law. If you're fortunate enough to make it through these pestilence, these uh, wild beasts on the earth that are coming, right? That are coming to devour people, right? These, uh, what does it say? Uh, they, they, they made spirits for vengeance, right? So we're not caught up in these things, man. The, a lot of times, I want to say the only way, but we know uh, it's talked about how there's a spirit that the Most High God, he sent an angel before us. And we're not supposed to go against that angel, right? He put his name in that angel uh, when it talked about, I think it was uh, Exodus, talked about Exodus. But he, we got to make sure that we follow that angel and make sure that we don't go against him, right? So we know what we're supposed to be doing because we study the scriptures, right? When the times come, that's why you're supposed to be studied up. You know what to do. You're not greedy. You're not going outside of your, uh, your learned behavior or the behavior that you're supposed to be learning as an Israelite. Right? You're supposed to be learning a learned behavior as an Israelite, and it's important to help get you through these terrible times that's coming. Go ahead, Ken. She said James 2 and 5. Oh, 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 I was going to. <laughs> I was just going to give the spirit that you was asking for, but it's all good. This is James chapter 2 and verse 25. Bring it out. And God, Read it again. James 2 and chapter 25. Bring it out. Oh, like it. Verse 25. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. And hey, we appreciate you, sis. We thank you for that. We, we appreciate that. The gesture. That's a nice gesture. We appreciate that. We're not going to um, look at you in any... Uh, we're going to make sure that we correct you. That's our job. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want no blood on our end. Are you seeing how our people is, though, bro? It's like, they got it, but they don't. Right, right. They'd rather be a beast without knowledge. Man. Body without the spirit. God. Hey, people... So, so if y'all didn't see what just happened, so 
So if y'all didn't see it, the sis came back, the one that we was having problems with earlier that was really chatty, clamorous. She was not she was not submitting. There was a couple times she held her tongue, but I'm surprised she wouldn't start foaming at the mouth, man. She was talking so much. You know what I'm saying? Who's all eating my father the garbage? You see that? Bro, I just it hit my head. I'm like, oh brazes. Stay back in there. That's no. But but like a hundred years ago. They was in mansions, and now they're falling out of trash cans. Yeah. Like, I was like, yeah. Hey, but if you go into the history, you'll find out that they were the first one uh, to dive. Yeah. Dumpster diving. Yeah. Dumpster diving, my bad. They still do that. Yeah. Hey, people that are, people that are like middle class, they go and do that. They know they dumpster diving. That's a whole YouTube. That's where them lights and them, all them, yeah, they, yeah. You're going to get stuck by a dirty needle. It's fitting for them. It's so fitting for them. To be in trash. Right. right. Don't back. do that. Right. Hey, so, hey, bro. Yo. Hey, what's up with it? We can get him when he come out, man. We can get him when he come out. But uh, anybody got any precepts? Anybody got any last closing words they want to say? Hey. Add the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We're finna die. We're finna die, man. What you got? What you got? Add the brothers. Jacob seed only, man. God. Jacob seed only, man. God. God. Mighty brothers out there. God. So with that, man, Lord willing, y'all's edify. Y'all got some understanding. We're going to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh, Shalom. Shalom.